to me, what's eating Gilbert Grape is uh, himself. He's eating himself, in a way, from the inside out. He sort of swallows his emotions and swallows his own personal thoughts and will always probably up to a point where there's just the shell, you know, so he's just basically a kind of a facade. I don't know what Johnny's character is, but he could possibly be a hero, you know, a reluctant hero. I don't know how you describe it, but he's very endearing in the film. He's, he did a good job. I guess he is a hero in his own way. I didn't really think of it like a hero. I thought of it more as a, as a, as a person finding himself and I guess that is kind of, you know, heroic. I love this guy. It's so limitless. She's the sane element of the movie. She's more content and she's been around, uh, you know, traveled and stuff. So uh, I guess she symbolizes that life is beautiful and it's not all bad and things like that. Six days is my part and I'm coming to I'm only and you're not invited. Arnie. Don't be rude. Arnie's a real instinctive character. He uh, acts a lot on what, what's directly in front of him, doesn't have a lot of necessarily deep thoughts about life. He sort of is extremely spontaneous and thinks about only the outcome of a situation. For example, when he climbs a water tower, the thought doesn't even flow through his mind that he could fall off this water tower and die. All he knows is that when he gets up there, he's really excited because everyone's saying, Arnie, Arnie, come down. All he sees is, you know, the big fire engine lights and everyone's screaming his name and he gets lots of attention. So that's how he sort of operates. I learned a lot from the character because he was such an instinctive person and that's how, you know, I'd like to be like that in some ways, you know? Match in the gas tank. Boom, boom. I enjoyed working with Leonardo and uh, enjoyed working with Juliet, but I enjoyed working with everybody on the film. I mean, everybody found the, the place that they needed to be in, you know, down the line. I mean, from John C. Riley, who plays Tucker, to uh, Darlene Cates, who plays Mama. The roles were there, and uh, everybody just sort of stepped right in. What about working with Johnny? Had you ever worked with him before? Mm -hmm. Never met him or Leo before the movie. He's just really good because he's really natural and, you know, you, he can react. You know, a lot of acting is, is reacting. You can't just say your lines and then as if the person's not there. He's very uh, reserved and humble and he's nice. And so it makes working with him very easy. It was great to work with actors that are so young yet so talented. I mean, you know, I'm young too, but just a younger type group of talent. Um, Johnny and I wanted to have a sort of real strong brotherly connection in this movie because you know that Arnie's been with him for 18 years and they sort of have that unspoken language which is just through a little series of a lot of looks and little like you know and the little movements, Arnie would know what to do, you know? And nothing necessarily needed to be said to prove that. It would just be us being with each other. And Arnie was like his father figure. Why will I take care of it? Gilbert. Hmm? Who are you, Gilbert? Because I'm Gilbert. I don't know about message. I mean, it's difficult to say message with any film, really. You take home whatever, whatever you get, and it's different for everybody, just like reading a book. A large part of the film was to see how love and uh, responsibility and guilt and, and emotional ties with people, all those things can kind of, they become one big ball of confusion. To me, for me, it was just to, it was just to see how love can, uh, can also be very painful. Um, it's a fine line between that love and, and a kind of a resentment and a hatred for, for the people that you care about. It might inspire people to do something, like <laughs> be more productive. Johnny's character is very um, unproductive when it comes to his own existence, you know, and he may have had things he wanted to do or dreams like a years ago, but then he stifled them and he's never, he's suppressed them and not done them and it can make people apathetic. So I hope people, if they want to do something for themselves and go do it, paint or like go swimming and just do something. What do you want for you? I want to be a good person. Now I've heard like uh, some talk about maybe uh, award or Oscar nomination and stuff like that. How does that strike you? Man, I love it. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> you know I'd love it. But it's not, it's not like I'm going to expect it, you know. You got to let these things come if they come. And if they don't, then you just, you know, you don't think about it. Just deal with it if it comes in front of you. Then, then that's when I'll start thinking about it. But right now, it's a little thought in my mind, but nothing, nothing major. 